Let's look at another example of Avogadro's law. This time, however, let's solve for the final amount. So we are given 2.5 moles of carbon dioxide, and we know that it has a volume of 10 liters. Under the same conditions, which would be the same pressure and same temperature, I want to know what mass of carbon dioxide will fill up a volume of 23.5 liters. Quick check of the units, and you see that I'm okay. We already have our data in moles, and my units of volume are consistent with liters in both cases. Avogadro tells us that V1 over N1 would equal V2 over N2. I'm looking for the final amount. I'm looking for N2. To isolate that, I'm going to do a little cross multiplying. I'm going to say V1 N2 equals V2 N1. And then I can isolate the N2 by bringing my V1 down here. So N2 is going to equal V2N1 all over V1. Let's do this. N2 is going to equal V2, so my second volume is 23.5 liters, times my first number of moles, which is 2.50 moles. And I'm going to divide that by my initial volume, which is 10 liters. My liters cancel out. And I'm going to be left with moles, which is good. N2 equals 5.88. My units here are going to be moles of carbon dioxide. So that's Avogadro's law. But if we take a closer look at the question, they didn't want moles of carbon dioxide. They want the mass of carbon dioxide. So we're going to have to take this number and convert it to grams. So carbon dioxide has a mass of 44 grams for every one mole. The moles cancel out, and I get 259 grams of CO2.